This exercise with the transmission network model example demonstrates analysis of transient stability using the RMS simulation function. In this example, study case 03 transient stability should be activated, together with scenario base scenario. The purpose of this example is to demonstrate the principal steps for carrying out an RMS simulation. The project already contains the dynamic model definitions of the controllers of the generators. The composite models and common model definitions can be seen in the network model manager. These are how the controller dynamics are defined in Power Factory. Let us look at one of the composite models. We can see that AVR, Governor and Power System Stabilizer are defined. If we double click on any of these we can access the parameters. We can also reach this information from the generator itself, from the single line diagram. Edit the generator element, then on the basic data page click on the arrow next to plant model. First, we need to set up the events for the simulation. We will study a fault on the line SWL3. Right click on the circuit from the grid graphic and define short circuit event. We must also make sure that this event is available for the RMS simulation. To do this, edit the element, go to the RMS simulation page and ensure that the available box is checked. We also need to clear the event after a suitable interval. Therefore, a second event is defined, to open the circuit breakers at the ends of the line. Again. Right click on the line, but this time define switch event. We will assume that the breakers will open after 100 milliseconds. The events are now set up. And we can select the RMS slash EMT toolbar. If we later need to change the events we can do so here. For the next step, this button is used to carry out the calculation of initial conditions, which are based on a load flow. We will study a three-phase fault, so the network representation is balanced, positive sequence. Other options have already been set. Click on Execute to set up the initial conditions. Now all the signals of the models are initialized based on the load flow solution. If no load flow results are available, a load flow will automatically be run first. The next step is to specify which elements we wish to monitor and which variables we are interested in. We can select elements from a filter or from a graphic. In this case we will select a number of generators and other elements from the graphic, multi-selecting by holding down the control key. Then, right-click on one of the selected elements and choose Define Results for our RMS slash EMT simulation. Default variables are already listed, according to element class, but these selections can be changed. For example, for this line we can select the loading. If these selections need to be changed later, this button can be used. Now the simulation can be run. The time reached by the simulation can be seen at the bottom of the display. The output window can also be checked to ensure that the events have been executed. Once the simulation is complete, we can use this icon to create plots, in order to see the results. First, the elements for the plot are selected, then the required variable to be plotted. In this case we will choose the speed. This can be copied and pasted for the other elements. The plot is drawn, and the x and y axes will need to be scaled. More plots can be created simply by selecting this plot, copying and then pasting using Ctrl V. 
The copied plot can then be edited to create a plot for different elements or change the variables selected.